Hello. Today is a new month, and with the new month comes a new devotional, and the topic this month is virtue or modesty. And the first scripture of the month can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 46, verse 33. And ye must practice virtue and holiness before me continually, even so, amen. Okay, life is such that it's not always convenient to be virtuous and holy wherever we go. But we need to do it because no matter what people may do to our bodies in the pursuit of their own amusement, we can still practice being virtuous and holy by thinking pure thoughts, hoping for pure things, and by not willingly allowing people to tarnish our spirits by breaking those boundaries of chastity. Even if those things happen to us, we don't have to let it happen in our minds and in our hearts. We, have, we can say no in our minds and in our hearts, even if our mouths can't. Resistance can be emotional, resistance can be spiritual when it comes to those things happening. We are not unclean just because those things may happen to us. We are worthwhile, we are valuable, we are not tarnished. Because when bad things happen, it happens because another person made a choice to do that sort of thing. And as long as we don't give in, like emotionally and spiritually, then we are not tarnished. If we don't feel it is okay, even if we can't physically stop it, then we are not tarnished. But if we emotionally give in and spiritually give in and forget to have our emotional and spiritual guard up, if we forget to do that, if we give in just because it is easier to give in, in all ways, then we'll have some explaining to do. Because even when things happen beyond our control, we can still have an emotional resistance that shows Heavenly Father that we are not okay with what's happening. If we willingly break those laws of virtue and holiness simply because it is easier to follow the crowd than to hang on to our morals, then we've crossed the line. Because following the crowd is nothing. Following the crowd leads to sadness and solitude and it can create a huge amount of guilt. It's not worth it to follow the crowd. It's not worth it to allow spiritual damage simply for a moment of pleasure. It's not worth it to sacrifice virtue and chastity simply because we're bored and we need excitement because those moments are very special. And if we willingly give those away, like if we willingly, emotionally, hand that over, then we're insulting God's belief in us and we're insulting our worth. But those things beyond our control have no bearing on our worth. It's very interesting that different circumstances mean different things. Circumstances beyond our control we can't do anything about, but we can emotionally resist. And we can simply just put the belief in ourselves that we shall not be held accountable for the choices of another so long as we do not treat them like they are gods simply for what they do to us. 
I've never have it I've never had it happen to me, but it's happened to others and those who it happens to, they question their worth because they've been violated. And they shouldn't question their worth because Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ still love them. He is they are still pure in his eyes. They are just survivors of a bad choice made by another. And they shouldn't feel as if they need to continue such behavior on their own to find their worth because that's not the right way to handle that kind of situation. To practice virtue of your own free will and choice even means reaching out to Heavenly Father in your heart in times of great peril that are beyond your control. To discard virtue means to do so of your own free will and choice. It means to disregard your value and disregard your body and do whatever you can for a moment of pleasure of your own free will and choice. That is what disregarding virtue means. It means crossing those lines and seeking after those passions of your own free will and choice. And that is the say that's the choice we get is to practice virtue continually as we choose to. So long as we practice it, even if even we can only do so in our heart due to circumstance, we shall be blessed. We're not going to be held responsible for the actions of others. We're only going to be held responsible for our own. So we do what we can when we can. We give our best and Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ carry us. Give us what we need. And give us the hope that we need to keep going. But of course we have to choose to accept their help too. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.